Hello besties. Welcome back to the channel. We have a box today. I had a little splurgy moment and I got the stuff in this box. Would you like to see what I got? You know you would. There's a little song. I mean, I sang you a little song. Okay, so first thing we have in this box. Oh, you, I, oh, I think you saw the name. First thing we have is some files. I was out of files. I've never tried these files. The ratings were really high and the price was not too high. So I'm going to give them a try after we get one seasoned up and do some nails. We'll give them a try and we will talk. I'll give you a mini review on these in another video. Okay. And of course, this is not going to be a review video on this either. This is just an, um, an unboxing. And what we have here is a little scuffed up. That's disappointing. But I'm going to blame that on Amazon and not on Model 1s. Okay, so let me pop this out. It really fit in there tight. That's a good box. That's good. Although, clearly in the, um, in the, the warehouse... There was some issues. Okay, so what we're going to do is enjoy some DIY fun. It is sealed, which this is the same Model 1 seal that I've had on every package I've ever got from them. And so far, I want to say before we even open this, so far, everything I've ever gotten from Model 1s, I've really enjoyed. But this that we're going to have here, some of it I've never used from this company before. So I'm super excited. This is the all-in-one salon kit. And I got it on Amazon. I can't speak to what price it is when you watch this video. What I can tell you is that right now, the day I bought it, it was $35.99, which I think is a pretty fair price for everything in the box. But please know this video is not sponsored. And if it was, I would let you know. Um, Okay, if I buy something in seven days, I can get 30% off. So that's actually something I might consider. Um, this tells you what's all in the kit and how to use it. It's a nice little flyer. I wouldn't call it a booklet. It's a flyer. And here we are with the kit, you guys. Let's, let me peek down here. Okay. All of the tools and stuff are in the bottom, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go through the bottom first. Um, which you know what? Maybe that's backwards, but that's okay. I can do things backwards. First, we're gonna get this Model One's Leafu Leafu uh, mini lamp, and it's just a very similar to all the little lamps that you see out there. I've never had one like this, so it's kind of nice to have this in the collection. Um, I can't open it with my nails. There we go. <laughs> Comes with a little power cord, which seems kind of short, honestly. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. And you have to provide the plug part, so just be aware of that if you buy this kit. It doesn't come with the wall plug, okay? Here it comes with a few dual forms, not as many as most kits I've seen, but I'm not going to use these anyway. These will probably go into a giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, we are almost at 125. That means we are really close to halfway to our next giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway at um, 250 for those who counted way faster than I did. Congratulations. <laughs> you are awesome. I have no idea what's in here. And I am trying to open it without ripping the, the little thing, but... I'm not sure that's going to work. And this is scintillating video, I'm telling you. Like, here we go. Oh, 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 little tweezers. I don't have a set like this, so this is nice. This is nice. Okay, oh, we've got a ton of striping tape. I could wish for a little bit thicker because I have, I think, this is the same size as the ones I have. But you know what? Can you ever have enough striping tape? I don't think so. Can you ever have enough nail stuff? No, you cannot. There's a small wheel of what looks like AB crystals. A little uh, tool. I don't have one like this, so uh, this is really nice. This is nice to get that. 
I have almost exactly the same brush. I don't think it's this particular handle, but from another kit of theirs, and I enjoy it. Uh, it works really well with uh, the solid cream gels and the glitter gels. And we have two of the glitter gels, although I already have one of them in my collection, but I don't have any of the other colors that are in it, so I'm super excited. It's got this uh, little wipes. I know they're wipes. You can't see that because it's all, they're, they're little um, gel wipes, gel product wipes. We've got this cute little brush for cleanups. And it's, it's semi-soft. I wouldn't say it's perfectly soft, but whew, it does feel nice. It does feel nice. We have a, a file, which is 100, 180, which is the same as the pack I have over there. And this cuticle tool, which I'm probably not gonna use. Um, it doesn't actually feel very high quality. So um, I don't even think I'll put this in a giveaway. I think this will probably just sit in the container of tools and just be there uh, <laughs> I just don't imagine myself using it I do uh, you know how I prep you know okay let's get to the part of the box that's the most exciting and we're gonna do some swatching here is another pack of here we go the UV gel cleanser so that's cool you get that's actually kind of a lot of those that's nice all right let's start with the base right because that's where you start it comes with base coat now this kit when I was reading about it this kit does not include slip solution because what they are um, instructing you to do is to fill your dual form and then use the base coat as the medium that you use to spread it out I'm not going to do that because I have alcohol and I have a, uh, I like to use um, an acrylic brush with my poly gels. So we're just gonna do a slip solution, which will be just plain old isopropyl. I have 70% right now, cause that's what they had. Let's take a look at how thick these are. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is really on there tight. Oh, there we go. That was so tight, you guys. Okay, this is the top coat. Oh, that's a nice strip on there. It's very, very thick. Yes, yes, I like a thick top coat. Okay, I don't know why I got shaky there all of a sudden. That was really weird. It was like a little shudder went through me. Okay, okay, way to go, Model 1s. Sometimes you get bottles and they're not really not as thick on the base coat but you know that's kind of what you want because you want it to be able to really get in the crevices okay let's pop open the poly gels next and then we're going to swatch these because hello new colors hello we'll even do we'll even do the oscar skirt but i'm not going to open this one because it's brand new and i have one already opened Okay, so let me get my tweezers here. All right. I'm not going to swatch these because we will do tomorrow. We'll play with them in another testing video. Ooh, look at that white. It is very bright. I just want to give you an idea of the colors, okay? And we will do some swatch, not swatching, but I will take my nails off and we'll do a set tomorrow, okay? This side. So if you're noticing that I've got some, some badness on my fingers, this is eczema, you guys. I am having some serious problems with eczema because the wildfires. I'm right next to wildfire. Actually, it's a forest fire, okay? It's a forest fire. And um, the smoke in the air, my immune system is reacting. Okay, this is the clear. Whoa, do you see how stringy that is? Wow. I've not gotten any gel on my fingers or anything, so I know it's not that. Um, but, 
Ooh, that is very clear. I can't wait to play with it. It almost feels like builder gel, though, I'm going to say, in how stringy it was. I, I, we're going to see how it works. And then we've got this pink. Speaking of builder gel, I saw a kit that I'm going to get that is builder gel in tubes, not the... Um, not the Young Nails one, but one of the other companies. And um, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, and we're going to test it on the channel. As soon as, if it's this company, I could use that, that coupon. Um, I forget. I put it on my list. I forget who it was. And then we've got this, I would say probably a clearish pink. It's. I wouldn't call that like a cover pink or a deep pink. Looks like kind of a clear pink. So we will play with those tomorrow. And they're just small tubes, guys. They're just, I thought they were slightly bigger than this, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, what's weird is that it seemed like they were going in order, but they skipped 34 for some reason. I wonder why. I wonder what 34 is. Okay. And then we've also got these two cream, uh, these are the cream gels, the solid cream gels, and these are the glitter nail gels. And we do not have this cosmic black, so let's pop this bad boy open. I'm really excited to see what this looks like. Oops. Still holding something from Polly Joe. Oh, you guys, it's black and holographic gold. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. I see blue and green and gold. And oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to scrape that in there off camera, but... Let's go ahead and swatch this on a nail. Let me get... Let me come in, guys. Let me come in. All right, let's come in. There's a little swatching. We're just gonna do it on this clear nail and see how it works. All of a sudden, I just felt like Talia's nail tails. I don't even know why. I've had her in my mind the last few days because she um, I commented on one of her videos and she commented back. I had um, actually recommended something for her. And I hope she tries it. And ever since then, she's been on my head, in my head. So, And she does a lot of swatching videos. And I felt, this just sort of felt like the way she does her um, light elegance. And anything, really fusion or anything. Okay, besties, what we're going to do now for the rest of the video is just a voiceover. While I was doing that, look at this second coat, guys. That's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. We're going to come in with some uh, top coat here in just a second. Um, while I was doing that first nail here, uh, my daughter called. And after, even after we hung up, I just felt like I had lost my rhythm. And so I just figured I'd finish up with a voiceover. So I hope you don't mind. Here we are with the Oscar skirt. Now I know we've seen this on the channel before, but I wanted to give it a proper swatch because it is part of this collection. And I mean, hello, hello, silver hollow. Who doesn't love silver hollow? Who is a hollow sexual out there? Leave me a comment in the comment section if you are a hollow sexual, if you're feeling the Christine vibe with the hollows. Hollow, everyone. Hollow. So we got two hollows in this collection. I'm super excited. I absolutely love the glitters. Glitter girl. Glitter girl or glitter guy. Whatever. Whatever. 
and top coat makes it shine even more. That's one thing I do love about these glitters is they really are shiny even without a top coat. Look at that. But of course you would top coat it for the smoothness and the protection. This is number 32. I do rip these off only a few times on camera because they started to get a little more stick, sticky on there. And right here I'm making a mistake. I really should have stirred that up first, but I didn't. And so you can see that the application is a little streaky if you don't stir that up a little bit first to get it loosened up and a little bit more creamy, right? Um, if you're just using it for art, not stirring it is perfectly fine. But definitely, if you're going to paint a nail with this, give it a little stir first. You don't even have to stir the entire pot, just, just the area you're going to take from. And you'll see that in a bit when I start the stirring. I'll, I'll be stirring here pretty soon. <laughs> there was a little glitter in there from one of the other uh, gels that we had just swatched so I was getting that off and now we're smoothing that out a lot we're smoothing it out a lot a little more glitter there and now some top coat top coat for, makes all the mistakes better okay it look at how pretty that is now we're coming in with number 36 and this yellow is so stunning you guys as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, next summer we're going to do sunflowers like crazy. Actually, you could probably still do sunflowers, right? It's still summer. Maybe I'll do a sunflower. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. And look at how much creamier it gets just from stirring. Stirring is the key. It really is. And I'm just going to scoop that up. And look at that. So much nicer to apply. Be careful that you're not getting that on your fingers, guys, okay? I need to buy some gloves so that I'm using gloves just to be extra safe, extra safe. Second coat, look at that, very nice opacity. Because this one's a little thin on that first coat. The My favorite one, the wine color, that one's a little thin as well. Uh, or sheer, not thin, sheer. Thin is not the right word. <laughs> and top coat look at that oh that's so pretty I bet that color is going to look really good with a matte top coat as well here we are with this purpley color which to me it's got kind of a cool gray sort of undertone to it really really almost a dusty lavender oh oh, oh, oh I love it so much it's almost leaning into the periwinkle family but it's still lavender I would say let me know if you disagree. Just let me know. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. And second coat. But look at that. I think you could get away with no, no second coat on this one, honestly. But we wanted to give everything a proper swatch. So we just did it. We just did it. That's so cute. Oh. And here we are with this gorgeous chocolatey, almost like hot chocolate brown. Oh, look at that. And when you stir it, it almost looks like you're stirring some chocolate pudding maybe. Ooh, I love chocolate. Oh, I wanna make chocolate pudding now. Oh, oh, oopsies. That's a little knockover. Look at that, that does look like chocolate pudding. Wow, I'm gonna make hot chocolate nails or something, that is so cute. That is so cute. Oh, I'm already getting some ideas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Look at how beautiful it is with that top coat. Nice. Okay, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite color. Oh, look at that wine. Sexy, plummy. Not plummy. Um, berry. I would say berry. Berry color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. Makes me want berry cobbler. And if you just did a single coat with this one, because like I said, it is a little sheer, 
you could probably do deep color um, jelly nails with that. And I'm, oh, I wonder what it would look like with a little chrome powder on top. I bet that would be super sexy. Super pretty. And let's get some top coat on it. Oh. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to wear that color. I bet that's going to make some gorgeous flowers, like maybe Christmas flowers. Oh. I think, I'm, what I'm poking at that for is, I think that the color doesn't match the lid. The other ones, it was closer. This one, the lid seems like a minty green, and the color is more of a turquoise color, don't you think? I think it's beautiful. I think it'll make beautiful turquoise nails. I hit my finger a little bit there, but I did wipe it off. Because I'm having eczema trouble, I don't need more problems. Oh, that is so pretty. That second coat just really, and top coat. Guys, these colors are gorgeous. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite and uh, anything else that you liked in the collection for sure. We will see you in the next video when we play with a bunch of this. Thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me. Don't forget to click my buttons and help this channel grow. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.